Hey there, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Thanks for joining me and thanks for listening to that track at the beginning of the video. It featured the fantastic Sir Bella Amp. You see it sitting here beside me. The Bella will be the focus of this video today. Uh, little disclaimer right out of the gate. I've got the internal speaker on the amp disconnected and I'm running the amp into the Sir Reactive Load line out into my recording interface and I'm using an impulse response for speaker simulation. I chose an impulse of a very, very similar cabinet, a 112 open back cabinet with a Celestion speaker. So the reason that I'm doing that for the purposes of this video is because I wanted the amp to be here beside me in the studio when I was tracking and uh, couldn't have the speaker blasting away right beside me. Okay, so you, uh, you're hearing a basically a very, very similar sound to what this cabinet sounds like mic'd up anyway with a re really similar speaker and design to the cabinet. Okay, so let's talk about the Bella. Um, basically, uh, it was designed to be like a clean tonal platform so that you can create your guitar sounding using your guitars and pedals and effects. Uh, its core tone is really rooted in that kind of classic American clean sound, but I really believe they've taken it one step further with some really, really simple touches and, and uh, the, the overall design of the amp. Um, you know, little things like the bass control will not futz out on this amp, no matter how high you turn it. And that's unusual. I find many of the kind of classic American amps, when you turn up the bass, they just get flubby. Uh, it's got a three-way bright switch, so that's really awesome because you can really fine-tune the top end of the amp and make the amp play nice with your pedals, your overdrives, and your fuzzes. A lot of times overdrives and fuzzes can interact with the bright switch on an amp and sound not so pleasant. So you can really dial in that stuff on this amp. It's really nice. What else? Um, it's got basically, yeah, treble, bass, and presence for an EQ, one volume control. You've got a boost, which is foot switchable and sounds really great for just kicking parts over the top and adding just a hint of grind to the amp. Uh, and then there's a two-way power switch. You can switch from 44 watts for full power down to 22 watts, which will give you a little lower headroom, a little earlier breakup, and a little less volume. There's also a terrific buffered effects loop in the back of the amp, so you can add uh, rack effects or pedal effects. It's got level control, so you can really dial it in. And that's pretty much it. So let's listen to some, some sounds really quick here, and then I'm going to uh, solo some of the sounds that I used uh, in the song at the beginning of the video, so you, you can hear them uh, outside of the mix of that song, and listen to some of the different tones that I created with the Bella using some different effect pedals and different guitars. Okay, so I've got the volume on about four. And the treble's on six, the bass is on four, presence is on six. I've just got it set up for a really beautiful clean tone right now. Okay, so let's talk about the bright switch for a second. Really nice feature on this amp. Let's start with it in the off position. Right now I had it in the middle. I'm going to turn it off. Here it is in the first position. And here it is all the way up in the most bright position. So just really, really nice. It's subtle in its design, but it really allows you to just fine tune in the top end of the amp. And if you've got a fuzz or an overdrive that sounds a little buzzy uh, or a little screechy or something when you've got the bright engaged, you can simply turn off the bright switch and then raise the presence control. So that's really nice. Just a ton of range there that you can uh, uh, really dial in your tone. So I'm going to turn the bright back in my favorite position, which is the middle setting. And uh, let's check out the boost. So that's just really great for being able to just kick parts over the over the edge, adds just a little bit of grind to the amp and makes it just rock out a little bit. Okay, let's look at two of the other features on the Bella now, uh, the half power switch and the effects loop. So first up, uh, the, uh, the power switch. Um, I'm gonna go from 44 watts to 22 watts here. You're gonna hear a difference in volume and also a little bit of uh, headroom reduction on the amp. So here's the way the amp sounds in full power mode. I'm gonna switch down to 22.
Okay, so that's a really great feature for just being able to drop the volume of the amp a little bit. You're gonna be able to turn up the volume control a little bit and get a little bit more grind out of the amp in 22 watt mode. <laughs> Okay, so if you want the amp to crunch up a little bit, uh, just hit 22 watt mode, bring the volume up around five or six, and you're gonna start getting into a little bit of grind territory. So let's look at the effect loop in the Bella. Uh, Sir really knows how to do loops right. They make their loops properly buffered. Uh, he's really concerned with not getting any tonal degradation or anything like that by using an effect loop, and so they just design them great, and I love that about uh, the Sir amps. So right now, uh, I've got the loop defeated. There's a switch on the back here, so I can switch it on. Uh, I've got the, the amp connected to my pedal board and uh, running through a Strymon El Capistan and a, uh, a Flint Reverb and Tremolo. Uh, so if I switch in the loop right now, you're not going to hear the effects come on because I've got the, the pedals bypassed. So I want to switch in the loop and you can just hear how pure the tone stays and that nothing changes level-wise or anything like that. <laughs> So that's me switching the loop in and out. Uh, let's add some effects to the tone right now. So here's the uh, El Capstan. There's a little bit of reverb from the Flint. Here's a little bit of tremolo from the Flint. Sounds just great. This is how I got that tone for the song at the beginning of the video that started out the tune. Okay, let's check out some of the parts from the song at the beginning of the video now. Uh, some of the pedals I use and different guitars I use and whatnot, uh, and basically incorporating the Bella as my clean tonal platform uh, to create some of those tones. Here we go.
for watching my video on the Sir Bella 112 44 watt combo. If you got any questions on the amp, give the guys at Vintage King a call. You can check out the amp further at the Vintage King website. And uh, if you haven't, please hit subscribe and come back and see us for some more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.